morning, everybody. Let's spend the day together. Currently 7.30, just got up. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I had a workout class booked this morning. My alarm went off at 6.15. I was like, it's a new week. I'm gonna be a morning person and I'm not. And I'm just over trying to be a morning person because I never will be. Sometimes I feel like every YouTube creator in the world is a morning person and I'm so jealous of them, but I'm not less worthy as a creator just because I don't like to work out in the morning. You know what I mean? Matt just left for work, said bye to him, gave him a kiss. And we're going to start the day off. I'm so excited. I just wanted to spend the day with you guys. I feel like I've been so motivated and inspired lately. I have so many fun videos coming for March. I'm just like my creative juices are really flowing. And I love filming themed vlogs. But sometimes it's nice to just like spend the day together. Unfiltered, unedited, raw. Let's just hang out for the day. And I'm really excited. It's a new week. And yeah. Also I am wearing shorts underneath. They're Christmas shorts. I just... You guys know how much I love this shirt. So, good morning. Let's start the day. I'm excited. Really loving having a slow morning. My phone is still in bed. And I'm just going to have my greens and my water. I haven't been doing coffee right away. And we're going to sit on the couch. And we're going to read or we're going to watch YouTube. Maybe not watch YouTube because I work tonight. And I like to have YouTube on in the background while I work. Because I work like in an isolated part of the hospital. But yeah, let's uh, make our morning concoctions. And I am so excited to spend the day together. So, you guys want to see something cute? Look, I put vegetables on my greens. I don't know about you guys, but I like to chug my greens. Like, I'm not a sipper. I see everyone and their mom just sipping their greens. Matt does the same, and I'm like, that's disgusting. Just send it. It's like taking a morning health shot, you know? Just send it. We don't, we don't sip that shit. We just chug it. I take it as soon as I wake up. Really proud of myself because I've taken these every day since January started. Cheers. A smart call in life by filling up my hydro jug the night before. So in the morning, it's full and it's ready to go. This is my like little leopard one. I wanted the new Holly Gabrielle one so bad, but I I told myself I didn't need another hydro jug. But I fill it up the night before. That way, there's no excuses. Also. I curled my hair with my one step yesterday and I'm obsessed with how it turned out and the fact that it's still curly even though I slept on it. It's so cute. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy my morning and I'm going to put the camera down as well. You know, technology free, phone free morning and that includes my camera. So I'm just going to sit and watch some YouTube and read my book and then I'll be back in a little bit and then we'll chat about our plan for the day. But current read. Not sure how I feel about it yet. Very slow, but I'm only like a quarter of the way through. So that's what's going on. We're going to watch some YouTube. Good morning. Alrighty, guys. It is such a gloomy day outside. I feel like the lighting is not really great, but it's currently nine. I was getting ready to like head out and go run my errands and stuff because it's Monday. You guys know I try and run all my errands on Mondays. And nothing opens till 10. So for once in my life, I'm like ahead of the game. I've been really enjoying getting up early like with Matt um on my days off like my days that I'm like whatever working for YouTube and stuff because I want to keep like a good routine through the week so um that's what's going on Mondays are like kind of my random days Mondays are my grad school days typically I only usually have about half a day of work so as are new here I recently quit like my full-time corporate nine-to-five and I just work three days a week in a corporate setting and I'm also in grad school and I also do YouTube full-time so I've got a lot on my plate and I finally got into a good routine so Monday's usually my productive day like my errand running day getting everything sorted for the week I really like to start the week off on a productive note when I first had Mondays and Fridays off I was kind of having lazy days and it just didn't really set me up for like success so I've been doing Mondays as like my busy day, running any errands, getting groceries, anything I kind of have to do. And then Fridays, I usually spend the morning doing grad school and then I spend the afternoon. If I don't have anything, like last week I didn't have anything, I just had a chill afternoon. Or if I have YouTube work to do, I'll edit and stuff, which I never see as work because I just love doing it. Like I genuinely love doing YouTube. This week I will maybe do work, but I don't usually do any YouTube work. I usually just get stuff done around the house and stuff. So anyways, I guess I'm just gonna kill some time until everything opens i just made myself some toast i am going to film an updated little health vlog situation this week like putting myself first my daily self-care healthy habits because i'm really proud of myself i have stuck by everything since the beginning of january taking my greens taking my vitamins all that kind of stuff water i'm really proud of myself but 
Today we have some fun errands. Um, I'm also drinking a whole lemon water. I haven't even had coffee yet. Who is she? Um, I'm also trying to wait off on having coffee for like a few hours. It's not easy, but if I can do it, anyone can do it. I usually just sit here and look at my emails, and my calendar super quick, and then make a to-do list in my planner. I'm also working my part-time job tonight, which uh, I only work like once a month, honestly. But I figured why not get me out of the house and typically with my part-time job, if it is quiet enough, I can like get other work done. So that's kind of nice. But today we just have a few errands to run. I want to really try the new Starbucks coffee today, the toasted vanilla cold brew or whatever, shaken espresso, but I'll get it in a cold brew form. And we just have a fun few errands to do. And yeah, I'll tell you guys about those when we get in the car, but... Also, typically I would like clean on Mondays, but we did a super deep clean yesterday because we actually had both of our parents over for dinner, which was so fun. We love doing that. Um, Matt's parents met my parents in, uh, I want to say the fall. My parents had them over for Thanksgiving and it went so well. And so this weekend we were just like, oh, we should have my parents over for dinner. And then we were like, wait, why don't we have everyone over? So we had everyone over. It was so nice. They both get along so well. It makes Matt and I were saying after they left, it like makes our heart so happy that like they get along and like we can do these things because it really, really makes me so happy. Like I can't think off the top of my head of anything that makes me happier than like having Matt's parents and my parents at our house like that we own. It's just really sweet. So um, we did a big deep clean yesterday and that's what's going on. So I'm going to eat my toast. It's just peanut butter toast with hemp hearts and cinnamon on it. I'm having my lemon water, like I said. And I'm just going to, like, reply to comments, see if I got paid by any brands. Kind of, like, all that kind of stuff. We're going to spend the day together. This is how you know spring is here. I'm taking the Converse out. My faves. Guys, it is just one of those days that it just feels like spring. And I am in such a good mood. I needed this. And... I also feel kind of like a mom. It's like literally 9.20 in the morning and I'm out and about doing my errands, but I just like kind of want to get over with so I can come home, go to the dog park and relax in the afternoon. So let's go through everything we have to get done. Okay, let's do it. Get to it, but uh, I think I told you guys I ordered some shorts from American Eagle because I'm entering a new era. You know, I'm, I'm a hot, I'm going to be hot, like hot dog mom, 25 year old. I can't be wearing booty shorts anymore. Like that's not a thing. So I'm trying to find some hot dog mom milf shorts, you know, that are just like a little longer, look classier, but kind of hard to find. I feel like I have a weird shape because I am like a ruler. I don't really have hips, but I have a bit of a pooch. So it's a little hard for me to find shorts. So American Eagle did not work out for me. So I ordered some from Old Navy and I also ordered some from Abercrombie. I've never tried their shorts and I feel like I need to do some investing in shorts. I need to get some good quality shorts. So if I have time, I'll go to the mall. I know I should just do it. You guys know I'm really bad at pushing errands off. Like I just do the errands I want to do. Um, so I have to do that. I have to stop by the gym because I actually got a new gym membership. If you guys live in Canada um, or in Ontario, we have pretty much like Good Life in Movadi. Movadi is like the high-end gym here. Um, and I've been thinking about switching for a while just because I really love classes. And I feel like for a long time I was in denial that like, you know, if you do classes, like you're not like that's... I just feel like it's less than, you know, people are like, oh, you got to lift, you got to do this. But I really love doing classes, honestly. It's the way that I work out the best. It's the way that I push myself the best. And there's nothing wrong with that. But Good Life just doesn't have good classes. I'm so sorry if you're an instructor at Good Life. I just think compared to Movadi, the classes are very subpar. Movadi has a lot. They have like hot yoga. They have Pilates. They have bar. They have like everything in one spot because they are more of like a high end gym. So they were running a deal where I got a month or two free um, and I used to go there so it was pretty easy to sign up because they already had all my information and I pay $40 bi-weekly which is a decent amount of money um, but I left in college because I like barely could afford that and I'm just grateful I can afford it now but compared to like, going to a studio like you know where a drop in class at like our local Pilates or bar or like step class is like $24 so if you go to two of those in a two-week period once a week you're already paying for a gym membership right so i just decided that it was time for me to make the move back over so i'm gonna go today and just get like my little fob and i'm all signed up you can do everything online nowadays obviously but i need to go in just so i can get access to like the app so i can sign up for classes so i'm gonna do that we're gonna try the new starbucks drink because i know about you guys but when people tell me a drink isn't good it makes me want to try it even more like if you tell me not to touch the button i'm gonna want to touch the button so we're gonna try i've been hearing very mixed reviews some say it tastes like a candle and some say it tastes like french vanilla so we're gonna try it and i'll give you guys my review and 
And then I want to go to the thrift store looking for neutral books. Allison Bakerstaff, I swear, Florida thrift stores are amazing. She goes a lot and gets a lot of neutral books for styling. So I want to go and see if I can get any for our bedroom. Um, just because they're like cheap. And that's the plan. So let's go get a coffee first. I'm actually going to order it on the app just so I don't have to go in. Comes as a shaken espresso, but I just don't want that to be honest. I don't want to shake an espresso. So I think I'm just gonna get it in a cold brew, honestly. Alrighty guys, it's been ordered. Let's go get it. I love to make playlists for everything and I made a Yellowstone playlist and I'm obsessed with it. It's just like my favorite songs, but it's such a vibe. It's like Morgan Wallen, Chris Stapleton, Cody Johnson. It's just an amazing playlist. I'll link it down below. It's quite great. Okay, we've got the Starbucks. I'm surprised they were so quick today, but this is how I ended up ordering it. I just got a grande cold brew with a splash of lactose-free milk and a pump of it, just because you guys know I don't like it sweet. And I wasn't in the mood for espresso, you know? But I'm really, it smells like vanilla. Where the heck are people getting candle from? It just tastes like French vanilla. I think it's good. I think it's honestly probably just French vanilla syrup though. Like I know they use normal vanilla, but as someone who gets French vanilla sometimes at the coffee shop, I'm pretty sure it's probably just French vanilla syrup, honestly. If you like the sugar cookie latte or you like vanilla, you'll like it. I don't get the candle taste, but I guess maybe some do. When you order the espresso with oat milk, it tastes more like a candle, but I don't think it does. I think it's pretty good. Granted, I did like the sugar cookie latte and I do like vanilla syrup. So, if you like vanilla syrup, I mean, you'll probably like it. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't get the candle taste. I'm happy I tried it, because people were really hating on it. And like, obviously, it's not for everybody. Nothing in life is for everybody, but it doesn't taste like a candle to me. All right, onward to the adventures. Guys, I am at the gym. I'm just gonna go in and get like my key fob and like finish signing the paperwork if there is any. Hopefully, super, super quick. By the time I get out, everything will be open because it all opens at 10, so. Already back in my car. I got my login, 9.56. They are so efficient in there. But now we're going to go to what's closest to me. Have you guys heard the tragedy in my last video that I had a whole, like, new spring collection of the Lemon Hall video filmed and I lost the footage, so. But I got this. It's the camera bag. It's a little bigger. I'm pretty sure it'll fit my camera when I get my G7X. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It kind of feels like a mom purse, but it, it's nice and spacious. But yeah, I'm so excited to get my G7X for when I'm out and about because you guys see my Canon M50? Like, do you guys see how big this thing is? It is huge. So, let's go. You guys live in Canada. You need to get the Love and Lore brand PJs from Indigo. I'm obviously at Indigo. They're so comfy. I wanted to get a spring color. I just didn't know what kind. And I wanted to get a sleep shirt because they're just so comfy. But it's between purple, pink, and then the light one. But I feel like this is more my color. Yeah. I just want to grab it. But I did buy the box set, so I'm waiting for it. But it's so beautiful. Also, look how big this one is compared to the last one. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't think they have. Oh, they have this in paperback. Wow. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen and it makes me wish we had children. Oh my god, this is so cute. I would get it, but it's $30. It's a nice snowy day apparently, but we're at the thrift store. I didn't end up getting any PJs at Indigo. I just didn't really want to spend $40 on them, even though they're really good quality and I love them. I already have a black pair and a blue pair. I didn't need another pair, but I just wanted to show you guys because I thought that pink was so cute. The like muted darker one was so nice. This coffee is delicious. We're going to go in and see if we can get some neutral books for the bedroom. And I'll see if there's any good finds just to show you guys that you can get some good books at the thrift store because I get asked all the time why I spend so much money on books and we shouldn't be judging people with what they send their money on. But I get a lot of my books secondhand on like Facebook marketplace, but I'm going to go show you guys what we can find today. So I'm really excited. I'm in a really good mood. Well, I was in a good mood because it was so nice and warm this morning and now it's freaking snowing, but I'm just going to try and move past that. But yeah. Let's go in, see what we can thrift. I'm like kind of in la la land right now. I need to like wake up. Home now, little outfit. My jacket is from Shein. It's amazing quality, honestly. And then my little just like outfit is this is just like an H and M top. And then these are Princess Polly Jean. <gasps> Hello, Stella Beauty. Hi. Come on, we have a hug, please. Hugs. Oh, good girl. Hi. 
She's good. We've been starting. Well, I have. I've been starting to leave her out again just for little periods of time. Um, and she's been doing good so far. So one step forward. But obviously, just have our bread. I'll have to put that in the bread box after. It's like a little haul. It's not overly exciting. I'm sorry. Um, I went to Sephora just to get... I've heard really good things about these um, First Aid Beauty ingrown hair pads. So I wanted to try them just because I think, like everybody, I have a really, like, I don't know, tough time like with my bikini line. I think everyone does. So I wanted to try these before I resort to like waxing or laser um, just because I'm like super insecure in the summer about like bikini bumps. I think a lot of people are. So I just got those to try. So I got those. Um, Marshalls. I just picked up a new coffee. You guys know we make cold brew at home and I honestly just get like whatever I see because coffee's pretty cheap there. This was $6.99 and I thought it was just cute because it says hello spring on it. So we're running out already. So that's what we use to make cold brew. And haul. Oh, and the books. But I'll show you guys the books in a second. We'll go upstairs and I'll show you guys those. But it's a little haul. It's not like overly exciting. I just knew I needed to get coffee and I need to get those like razor or burn whatever pad things. So currently 1140 and I'm going to have some breakfast. I'll make some eggs or something. And it's still snowing. I was going to put away all the winter stuff today. I think it's a little preemptive. So I'm not going to do that. Um, we'll go to the D-O-G-P-A-R-K. These are the books I got. Obviously, at first glance, you're like, Carter, what the actual heck? But they all have really pretty, like, spines. And I kind of want to just go with, like, a really happy theme. So right now, I have my New Morning's Mercy and my Daily Routine Journal. But the issue is that I got pen on this, so it just, like, doesn't look pretty. But I love the idea of just having some, like, white stacked books. These books were, like, $20 together. So the first one I got was this one. It's called Rise and Shine, A Wake Up Call. I'm pretty sure it's, like, a Christian book, which... You know, I'm kind of going through a crisis with my spirituality. But if you take the pretty this is, I just think it looks so nice. But I'm going to go ahead and take, like, all the covers off of all these. And then we'll kind of, like, place them. I just, like, love this idea because it's just so unique. This one's so funny. It's Michael Strahan or whatever his name is. But, like, see? It just, like, look. I li really liked this one because it says wake up happy, which I thought was really cute. This one... I mean, I think I went for a gold theme. Ooh. This one is, okay, this one's gray, so I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this one, but I just love this. I actually think this is like a novel. Yeah, I think this is like a literal science fiction book, but this one is just so pretty. It says stronger, faster, and more beautiful. I don't know where to put this one, but it's just really pretty. And then this one is so cute. This one is my favorite because it says, if I had my life to live over, I would pick more daisies. It's just so happy. So I kind of thought, oh yeah. This is a vibe, except I'm really sad. This one maybe can go like this. How cute. Okay, guys, let's put them. Let's see. I feel like I should keep my New Morning's Mercies. I don't know, though. Maybe not. Should I? Let's see. Do we keep the New Morning's Mercy on here? Okay, I think this is literally... <gasps> you guys, this is so beautiful. The little candle... Oh my gosh, so freaking cute. Uh, look how cute it is. <gasps> wow, this is so fun. If you guys like want something fun to do, go to the thrift store and get some books. This looks perfect. Maybe um, on the couch. I'm not even like trying to do fun stuff for the vlog. This is just a real day. I put on a sweater because it was really cold. And um, I don't know if I want to read or not. Current read is the new Lucy Foley book, The Paris Apartment. I'm not that far. I'm like a quarter of the way through it. But it's meh. I don't really love multiple POV books, to be quite honest with you. So I kind of want to power through. I kind of want to try and read something else. I don't really know. But yeah, so that's that. And I also just want to watch YouTube and chill. So. Gus, I was here too. So I was here with us. We're snuggling, having a party. It's 12.53. Let's see when I stop watching YouTube. I just got off the phone with Thomas, who is one of my managers, if you guys don't know. And we typically chat, like, once a week for our calls. I'm just making a small coffee. This is a Fortado. It's, like, five ounces. Because I need... This is the biggest struggle. I need some caffeine, to be honest. Like, I am struggling today. On the one coffee. little coffee tutorial baby coffee i'll just do a splash of french vanilla nut pod this is kind of like a 
vanilla latte vibe, like a creamy vanilla latte. So I just like, you know, a little bit of that. And then a lot of you guys have been asking me what collagen I take because I was saying how my hair grew really fast and I just take whatever collagen's on sale. The key is to have a frother. Um, and to be honest, you can't taste it. It just tastes really creamy, if that makes sense. So my collagen, like everyone's scoop is going to be different, but my collagen is two scoops is 10 grams of protein. So I just do the two scoops. And like I said, you can't taste it at all. It's just like an easy way to get 10 grams of protein in. I typically do this first thing in the morning so that there's like a little, you know, protein. Oh, yeah, make sure it doesn't spill over. Oh, <laughs> frig, every time. One. afternoon coffee action cheers guys it's 2 30 i'm taking <laughs> stella's like frantically running down the stairs um i'm taking hero uh, hero um i really need to take a break from my thriller i needed something else to read and since i'm waiting for the second i was gonna say the second accord of thorns and roses but that's just the name of the first book Mist and Fury, is that the second one? Guys, I'm new to the fantasy world. Um, that was the last like book I read, paperback. Hi, what's up? Tell me what, you, what you're thinking. What's going on, Severuni? I'm gonna start a new book, a romance book. I'll bring it to work tonight. So this is Friend Zone. I'm gonna start this. I feel like Sarah Jenkins recommended this. She kind of recommends me all of my romance books. Sounded like a cutie little easy read i feel like i need that in between fantasy books so that's what i'm gonna start reading and yeah that's my update we're just gonna read <laughs> uh probably until i need to leave for work i'm so like unmotivated today to do anything it's crazy but i guess it's just life it's like super rainy now it's not even snowing it's just raining the only exercise i've done today is go to the dog park i haven't even worked out but Sometimes I don't want to work evening shifts. I just think it's too much. But I really am like brain fogged today. Like I'm just like in la la land. Yeah. Anyways. Also, when I'm recording this, it's Monday, March 7th. I'm so impatiently waiting for Bianca's birth vlog. Like I hope she filmed one. I'm just obsessed with her. I think I also, I mean, it's kind of TMI. So I don't need to go into detail. But my IBS is really acting up today. So I think that's why I'm just kind of out of it. I've been really good for the last few months. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was just like, cause we had a roast last night. It's like really rich. We don't usually eat like red meat a lot. But my IBS is acting up today. You know what I mean? So I just kind of feel out of it. And I think that's why it's just cause I'm, my stomach is kind of like bleh. So I probably feel like I don't have as much energy in my voice, but, but anyways, that's what's going on. <laughs>